In this lesson, I want to demonstrate the power of Revit, and I'm using Revit architecture. Again, this could be structure, MEP, this application is um, expandable across whatever discipline of Revit you're using. And all I'm going to do is a basic copy and paste up to certain levels. So I've got my views tiled in here. I've got a couple of sheets set up already, you can see, and I've got those views open and in placed on there. So each one of these sheets has an elevation or a section or a 3D view, okay, perspective views over here and some elevation. So I've got some sheets set up and I've got um, some views already placed on the sheets but I, I've only all, all I've got drawn is this one little basic floor plan here. And I could add in more partitions and definitely more detail um, to do this but this is a good example for people who kind of wonder how Revit works and you know why everyone's so excited about it um, is I can take these objects and copy and paste them up to all these different levels and it'll automatically update my entire project it'll also update my schedules if I go in here I've just got a little schedule here one for my windows and you can see that currently all the windows are on level one and their height is um, set to be you know six feet by three feet I'm just expanding my my schedule so I've got a window schedule it's got the different sizes and all the windows are the same size okay and there's a total of 30 windows in there right now so if you count up all those windows there's th about 30 windows not about there's exactly then I've got a little mini wall schedule it's got you know what wall family it is the area of walls so far the length of the walls and the total volume inside of there so I've got some basic information on walls and windows and I've got those scheduled placed on my typical floor plan sheet over here so I've got this set up I've got some sections over here perspective views ready but really nothing drawn and there's no real trick to this I'm not trying to uh, use any smoke and mirrors you can have your default project already set up like this I don't even have to have this drawn I can have my schedules and all my views sitting there waiting for me as I draw my grids and levels everything gets populated so now if I kind of zoom down here and I'm just gonna do a crossing box and grab everything in here now this floor is at level one down here and these walls all stop short if I click on this view you can see that all these walls are one foot short of the level which will make it all work out when I copy and paste these up so I'm just gonna do a big window box and grab all those objects I can filter and you know have a look and deselect what I want but for the most part all I'm gonna do right now is go control C on the keyboard copies all those objects up to the clipboard click out now I can go back to my modify tab and I can go to my paste and say select levels I want to paste them to copy and paste Revit has its own clipboard it doesn't interact with the other Microsoft um, objects on the clipboard now I'm gonna copy up from level 2 all the way up to level 9 hit OK it's going to take all those objects, it's going to place all of them on those nine different levels and it's going to populate all that information with my views. And it's even going to highlight the last set of objects that went to the top. Click out. So at this point I can say, okay, well I don't need these top ones. Tab, click to select those, delete these guys, and delete this stairway. Okay and I've got a complete set of plans here my schedules have gotten a little bigger I need to pull this guy up a little bit okay so now if I click in here and zoom in it's gonna tell me that I have 240 walls and it's splitting them up between each level okay and it's telling you each level has uh, you know this window etc now I could also put a count in there uh, which will count how many I have I just don't have that in there let's have a look my wall schedule is updated to 15,000 square feet um, 2100 2149 linear feet of of this type of wall and of course I've used all the same same type of wall so my schedule isn't showing a, a vast amount of walls but it is calculating the cubic feet the volume perhaps concrete or length you know to work with your costs these are just really basic schedules there's my floor plan over here I've got my my section drawn in there I need to maybe pull up a couple grid lines I've got a 3d section 
very nice and I can manipulate that and change that around. I've got a couple of perspective views in here showing up on my sheets, very nice. There's my cover sheet, there's my elevations all set up and another perspective view. So very quickly now I've got four sheets all done up just from copy and pasting a couple of walls. So this is again just very basic. You could use this in a much larger capacity um, but it does give a bit of a demonstration and quickly in, in about six minutes how you can um, generate a lot of information inside of uh, Revit architecture structure or MEP.